Hi, this is Jenny. I'm an avionics tech at Steinair. And today we're going to go through some basics of terminal crimping. Uh, we do this daily, and some of you home builders, it may be a new skill. We're going to save you some of your supplies that get sacrificed to the learning curve. Um, hopefully we can keep that to a minimum by giving you the basics here. Uh, this is the standard crimper that we have at at Steinair and so that's what I'm going to show you. There are different models available out there uh, but this is a sturdy good quality crimper that we use daily and um, have good luck with. So you can see the jaw here has a red, a blue, and a yellow and those are to designate the sizes of your terminals. You'll see there's red, blues, and yellows of the terminals uh, for the different sized wires that you'll be using. I'm going to show you on a yellow um, only because it's bigger and it's easier to see what's going on. Um, it's going to be a little harder to crimp but uh, we'll get through that. Um, the jaws are different on the front and the back. I'm going to show you. It's important that you know the difference and what they do. That's a source of confusion for some. Um, you'll see, and this will be the front side, it has a flat, a curve, and a flat. And of course it gets smaller with the different sized grooves here. Uh, the top, same thing, a little smaller, a little harder to see, but it's a flat, a curve, and a flat. The back side is different in that you'll notice how it's just a smooth curve and the top is a very shallow smooth curve also. Uh, so there is a difference and I'm going to show you what that does in the crimp and why there is that difference. With the yellow I've got a 10 gauge wire and I've got it stripped back just enough so when you put the wire in the barrel it will just protrude out the end not too much. You don't want it sticking out into uh, the terminal end here. Or you're going to be putting a bolt and a nut or whatever. You don't want to get it in the way. So keep that right at the edge. Um, it won't go any further with it this length because you'll see a groove right in the center of the barrel here and it is catching the insulation there and so it won't go any further through. And that's about what you want to see when you strip the wire back for your connection here. Um, I'll show you how to line up the terminal in the crimper. You place it in the jaw that's appropriate for the size terminal that you have, this one being yellow. And put it in the yellow space. Um, the back side here, you want to make sure that it's lined up flush that you just have a little bit of the barrel showing out the backside. Out the front you'll see just the plastic part of the barrel showing and that the whole metal barrel is completely inside the jaw and that's what that's what you want. All right, I'll hold that in place while I put the wire in and you'll see that it is again just sticking out the backside just enough to see it. And to crimp these larger gauges I will press it against the table a lot of times. So that's what I'll do here. You can hear it ratcheting as it's getting tighter. And that last ratchet will then release it. Alright, and what we have what would have been the back side with the smooth curve. You'll see it crushes the barrel around the wire evenly and the other side you'll see that it has encased the insulation but not gouged into it, it hasn't crushed it and then it pinches on either side of it. Okay and that is what you want to see in a crimp and that is the difference between the front and the back. I've got one that I crimped earlier and cut away 
the yellow insulation so that you can see it a little bit better what it's actually doing on the insulated side. It's not gouging it, it's not crushing it, it's just around it and pinched on both sides. And this end is pressed flat evenly across. And that's where it's grabbing the actual wire. Okay. And I also crimped one without a wire in it. It's a little easier to see how the difference of the front and the back of the crimp acts on the terminal. Nice evenly pressed on this side and this side leaves space for the insulated wire and it's pinched on either side. And that's going to be the same with whatever size crimp you're making. Alright, I hope that sheds some light on crimping terminals and you're well on your way to masterful crimping. Uh, thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other videos online.